And joining us live now from uh, Botlokong in the Free State is our SA Designs reporter, T. Seto Matieta. Very good morning to you, T. Uh, Seto. Tell us the circumstances surrounding the halting of this housing project and how it has affected the residents of Bethlehem. Good morning, Audrey, and good morning to the viewers at home. Audrey, we are in Selahliwe, informal settlement in Bethlehem. Um, the residents have been waiting for the government since 2013 for RDP houses. The residents are saying that they live in squalid conditions. As you can see behind me, um, Audrey, these residents are very angry and they would like to voice their um, grievances to the public. Audrey, the, there are some residents who have been living in Selashiwe for the past 35 years and nothing has been done about this. The government keep on making promises which they do not keep. The, the residents are saying that um, they're tired of the government coming here and the municipality coming here whenever the elections are coming up but doing nothing about their conditions. They have to share communal toilets, Audrey, unisex communal toilets and communal taps. You can imagine how frustrating this is because they have to wait in long queues. The women are also saying that they can't even go to the toilets at night because they are being attacked by criminals. And whenever they have to do their laundry, they have to stand in queues to do their laundry because the taps are just not enough for all of them. There are over 500 shacks here at Selahiwe, Audrey, so you can imagine how frustrated these residents are. I have three residents with me. I've got Buseleto, I've got Mamukwena, and I've got Mbina. They will be telling us about uh, some of the grievances that they have. Good morning, Buseleto. Please tell us what is going on at Selahiwe. Then then hape li miracle lanteng how handle to bana bana ba pekela munhu ba rutela munhu lo gona ntongo lo ngwe khalla munhu okay now we're going to speak to mama kwena who is an elderly in the community she will be explaining to us she's one of the people who are saying that she is not going to vote mama kwena please tell us the reason why you're saying you are not going to vote in the upcoming elections ah ha ke na vote mme Oh, hang a gina vote ya dile ma go vote mo nantse go tshepisha matlo ha ge a fumane nke ke be ka vote ke ke mpina says that um she's got issues with the fact that her kids keep on getting sick mpina tell us what happens your kids keep on getting sick what are you hoping that the government does for you people bana ba rona ba dula ba kula go hemela bohlaso bona bo re dulang ka ga bona ba tshwara ke di TV ba hla di tlapedi gore makole nako ha bana bo phelo bo hantle o tlwa mono bohlaso bo botlisa di bo go tse mehatla ka tlung hana tsena ke maria go na le ditshintsi ka tlung o tlo go nthotse o ha se nthotse hantle go bo phelo ba batho ke tlo vote a tshantse ke dula ke tshepiso ntho e semnete nke ke nka vote eh Thank you. Audrey, the community has divided opinion regarding um, the services at uh, Selahiwe. Most of them are saying that they will not vote because they do not know exactly what they're voting for. And um, Mbina does say that the kids keep on getting sick because um, of the uh, hygienic issues that are happening here. There's a dumping site right in front of where she lives. And Mamogwena, who is an elderly of Selahiwe, says that she is not voting because she does not know the reason why she should be voting as um, they keep on being promised you know to be moved to the RDP houses which are incomplete Audrey we actually did go to these RDP houses the RDP houses have been stalled we spoke to the MMC and she did say that they will be complete by 2017 back to you Audrey thank you for that report to you so they're coming to us from Bethlehem in the in the free state where there's issues of incomplete housing projects and how it's affecting the residents there